Today's Alliance War, we will be using my favorite team of all time, which is Viv, Silk, and Tigra. And um, it doesn't necessarily go as well as I'd like it to go. So um, the first fight, uh, you know, we have Silk versus Spot on Masochism. And um, I was not very excited to take this fight. I was almost thinking I would use Viv instead. And um, it doesn't help the fact that I hit him 14 times and he's already at four spots. So I'm like, oh, that's that's great. And then I miss a parry there. And so we already lost 30% of our health. We get parried there. And uh, now we're down to 39%. Um, now we're in the corner and we have to uh, block this SP1. And he's back to 100% health. So I'm like, oh, that's fun. How am I going to recover from this? So uh, we're just going to do best best we can to recover from this. So we're going to get a little bit of adrenaline healing back. We're back up to 41, and we can throw the SP3. And uh, now I just need to do my combo after the SP3 and do as much damage as possible. I don't know what just happened to where I lift, whiffed a light there. But uh, anyway, oh yeah, because of that whiffed light, we got parried. And he's healing again. And then my evade goes on cooldown, because I somehow get hit by that SP1. And it's just like, oh my gosh, this fight is an absolute disaster. So, we're finally gonna throw my SP2. At least we're getting a little bit of damage in. And, uh, but now he's back to his SP2, and I'm like, oh great, here comes another untouchable. And the healing is just ridiculous. So, I think the plan when I was assigned this was like, okay, uh, you can out-damage the healing if you're aggressive enough. But, like, sometimes this AI was just gonna do this and um, I couldn't bait a special, and then he would gain spots way more than it felt like 20%, so... Uh, it, it was just, this was just rough, and then I should have done a light attack instead of a medium there because I didn't have enough time, and I knew I didn't have enough time. The great thing about Silk here is that at least I do have 90% uh, less rupture duration on myself because um, she reduces ruptures on her by 90%, so that's cool. But this fight just feels like it lasts forever because of this healing and not being able to play aggressively. It, it's just so annoying. And uh, I get the nice counter there, remove two of his spots because the double medium counts as hitting him when he's recovering from a special attack twice somehow. I don't know how that works, but anyway. Uh, yeah, here we go again. Healing's back, and I uh, just hope he plays aggressive with me, and uh, so I can do my best to keep my debuffs on him and keep his healing away. That buff immunity is really nice when he triggers that because it gets rid of that regen. Uh, I, I really wanted an intercept there to uh, get to my SP2 with a bunch of physical vulnerabilities, but it was not meant to be apparently. And uh, now we throw my SP2. And he's approaching Untouchable, and we're about to get into Untouchable again. He's like, he's at 11%, and I'm like, just die. Just please die. And I'll have to bait this out. And uh, so I need to get a parry, not a heavy attack. Need a parry, light attack, and then I have enough time to block and just take hits on the block, not even try to dex in the corner. I don't trust myself enough to do that correctly. And uh, just get as many debuffs as I can before we throw this SP one and it's just barely enough to kill him like oh my gosh holy crap thank you for getting me out of that fight that was a disaster that was such a disaster dude but anyway now that it's over we have an easy fight because i'm using tigra so i'm happy and um tigra versus gallon is a fight i feel like i could do blindfolded at this point it's so easy especially with this node and um uh, I'm just gonna play as safely as possible. I'm not gonna do any risky shenanigans like I normally would. But um, I just need to bait this SP1 and I'm gonna knock him down with my special one to get him more aggressive. And um, yeah, we just do regular Tigra things and he's about to die. Uh, I just need to bait another SP1. He doesn't really want to throw it here. So instead I just throw mine because um, I didn't want my senses to fall off too quick. Maybe I should have just throw another SP1, get him aggressive again. But uh, I'm gonna take this on block because if I miss it, the incinerates will get procced on me, and we don't want that. So uh, anyway, he dies. Really, really easy fight, which is good because I kind of needed it. And uh, next fight, node 23, Ebony Maw, and I'm boosting quite a lot for this one because this is a terrifying fight. Um, I. 
the, this, the, the root is so scary and maw in general is just so scary, but I'm pretty good at using silk for maw, so I had pretty high hopes for this one, and we're gonna see how it goes. So firstly, we just want to get the knock down and remove his chance of faltering me, and we're gonna do that right here. The SP1, I'm gonna try to bait more often, and uh, that right there is gonna be very bad. I let the evade trigger because I thought uh, that I had spacing correct. I did not, and um, that is going to remove my evade, and then watch this. I'm going to his block, and he just decides randomly, hey, I'm gonna throw this special now. And I'm like, you've gotta be kidding me, that just nuked so much of my health. Because he just threw his special at a random moment that AI should not really be throwing the special there. And I'm like, oh great, so now I'm down to 29% because of that disaster. And now I'm getting more degen because of that fury placed on me, throwing a bunch of SP1s. Granted, I could have anti-baited that to prevent it. Now we have the evade back at least, so that's cool because I need it. And uh, I'm throwing this SP1 just because Rude is terrifying, especially with Bubble Shield being active. So now I'm at 10% and I'm like, okay, you gotta die. You have to die. And uh, now this SP1, I'm hoping is gonna do the job. It just barely does, once again. We came out of that at 10%. That is like an absolutely perfect fight if I just don't get hit by a random SP2 like that. I, that that's just so frustrating, dude. I lost, if I was going to use Silk for another fight, that would have been four potions gone just because of that. It's so frustrating, dude. But anyway, um, that was my last Silk fight. I, there was a chance that I would take node 50 something Chavez, but I'm not now. I, I wasn't, I'm, uh, I ended up not going to take that because of the fact that I would have to heal four potions again after I already used four potions after the spot fight. So, um, that's great. Anyway, next up is this Sauron on path one section two and this is really easy with viv i've done viv versus sauron so many times it's uh really easy at this point and uh i just need to get to my sp2 throw it get my block taps in and then we are going to have a very fun time i'm not going to try to um i'm not going to try to phase his sp1 because it's a little risky even though i do know how to do it i'd rather dex it um, I do know how to phase that SP1, I just, it's safer to dex. So, um, next up is this Terax with Tigra. This is my last Tigra fight, so I'm not gonna try too hard to avoid rock field damage. I'm just gonna try to get him down as quickly as possible while still playing as not risky as possible, I guess. I don't know what the best way to say that is, but, um, I'm going in at 83%. Maybe I should have thrown a potion in, but it's okay. Uh, we just need to bait this SP1 and get him aggressive and then we're gonna be having a good time. That, I don't know what I was doing there. I should have known that, that was gonna hit me, but um, apparently I didn't, so uh, that's great. His rock field is gone after that short amount of time, so that's okay. I have plenty of time to get more senses while he's not aggressive still. Um, the buffet is going to be triggering, but our neutralize is going to be preventing that regen, so it's pretty much okay. Well, at least most of the time it'll be preventing that regen. Right there, you saw it didn't. I am doing those risky, heavy intercepts, which maybe I shouldn't have done, but uh, I know how to do the risky, heavy intercepts against Terax pretty well. Um, I've done them quite a bit in various other Terax matches. But anyway, last fight of the war is against this Conflictor, Prowess Puncture, or something, uh, Danny Moonstar with Viv, and uh, I fought Danny Moonstar never aside from her Cavi Q, so uh, it's been quite a while, and I think I know what I'm doing for the most part. It is a 400 and almost 50k health Danny, so I do need to do an SP3 rotation with Viv because she's going to struggle to kill very much if I um, if I do the regular rotation. Uh, I know I need to not hit her block, at least I think. I'm pretty sure on defense that works the same as on offense. I don't want to hit her block or else I'm going to get faltered. So uh, that's just the game plan. 
and I'm gonna bait SP ones only, and uh, it's pretty easy to de it's pretty easy to dex, so uh, that's not bad at all. Uh, I don't want to push her to SP two because I I don't feel comfortable missing it, nor do I feel comfortable dexing it. And if I block it, I take so much damage from the impact charges. So we're just not gonna push her to SP two. Plain and simple. I'm gonna block this SP one because I didn't trust myself to uh, to um, Dex out of it without it, like thinking that my block input messed up. I don't know if that makes sense, but like sometimes when I'm trying to dex out of something and they're hitting really aggressively, it, it's not fun. Anyway, uh, I I took a lot of damage there, which is very unfortunate. So that's we're down to 40%. And I'm like, oh great, it's another one of these fights where I'm just playing very low health. So that's fun, and. Uh, Next, I'm going to throw my SP-1. We have to deal with Conflictor a little bit, but that's okay. We still do a, a lot of damage. And uh, I do need to uh, get another combo a little bit to get more power from my last SP-1, and she's down to 10%. And I'm like, okay, I need you to die. I, I, I really need you to die, so we're just going to do our best to kill her. And I took so much block damage because I was baiting a heavy attack, and she didn't throw it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, why couldn't you just throw the heavy attack? And I was stressing out at the very end, but then the SP2 kills. And I'm like, holy crap, it's over. That was it. I, that was so bad. But uh, it's okay, because we won the war. I don't have a picture of stats right now, but we did win the war. And that was so scary. That was one of the scariest wars I've ever had because of those three fights where I was below 20%. But it's over, so it's, it's great. Anyway. Thank you for watching, I hope that video was fun.